Exercise number two. Let us start. Question one. <coughs> two charges. Five into ten raised power minus eight coulomb and minus three into ten raised power minus eight coulomb <coughs> are located. 16 centimeter apart at what points on the line joining joining the two charges charges is the electric potential zero take potential at infinity to be zero solution <clears throat> now we have two charges 5 into 10 is power minus 8 coulomb and 3 into 10 is power minus 8 coulomb separated by distance of uh, 17 centim uh, 16 centimeter let us suppose that this is a charge Q1 equal to 5 into 10 raised power minus 8 coulomb and this is another charge Q2 equal to minus 3 into 10 raised power minus 8 coulomb the distance between their centers R is given as 16 into 10 raised power minus 2 meter ok now we have to find the point where the potential due to these two charges is zero two cases will arise when the point lies within this line between q1 and q2 let us say it at this point o the potential due to these this and this charge is zero and in case second it can lie outside it let us say at point o dash where potential due to this and this charge is zero case one let this point O be at a distance of x into 10 raised power minus 2 meter from charge Q1. Q1. Then, <laughs> potential sum of the potentials due to this charge Q2 and Q1 must be 0. That is, we know that total potential at point O will be potential due to Q1, let us say that is V1, and potential due to <coughs> Q2, let us say V2, which is equal to Q1, that is K, Q1 by uh, this, uh, this is X, okay, so X, plus K, Q2, potential due to charge Q2, divided by now distance is 16 10 is power minus 2 yeah, 16 plus minus minus x into 10 is power minus 2 16 to yaha pura hai yaha se cut hoga x bachega 16 minus x so this 10 is power minus 2 and 10 is power minus 2 will cancel out now v is 0 at this point so we substitute v equal to 0 we get after arranging the terms k q1 divided by x is equal to minus k q2 divided by 16 minus x k and k will cancel out now substituting for q1 that is 5 into 10 raised power minus 8 coulomb divided by x is equal to minus minus 3 into 10 raised power minus 8 coulomb divided by 16 minus x now this will cancel out so we will get 5 by x is equal to minus into minus plus 3 by 16 minus x ok now by cross multiplication what we will get we will get 
first of all I will rewrite this equation 5 by x is equal to 3 by 16 minus x now we will cross multiply it it will be 80 minus 5x is equal to 3x or 8x is equal to 5, uh, 5 plus 3 over 8 8x is equal to 80 or x is equal to 10 centimeters so this point will be 10 centimeters from charge q1 or 6 centimeters from charge q2 now case second case second when the charge q1 is here q2 is this and the point lies outside let us say at o dash let us suppose that this distance is let us say d now <coughs> since potential at this is equal to v is equal to zero again we know that potential due to q1 total potential v will be sum of the potentials due to q1 and q2 that will be due to q1 it will be k q1 by it will be d into 10 raised power minus 2 meter okay plus k q2 divided by this will be <coughs> 16 centimeters and this will be uh, from this point to this point it will be say d minus 16 so it will be uh, d minus 16 into 10 raised power minus 2 meters okay this will cancel out substituting v is equal to 0 at o dash so what we will get 0 is equal to k q1 divided by d plus k q2 divided by d minus 16 arranging the term so k q1 d is equal to minus k q2 d minus 16 this and this will cancel out substituting the value of q1 and q2 that is 5 into 10 raised power minus 8 coulomb divided by d is equal to minus into minus 3 into 10 raised power minus 8 coulomb d minus 16 this will cancel out so minus into minus it will be plus so it will be 5 by d equal to 3 by d minus 16 cross multiplying we get 5d minus 80 5d 5d minus 5 16 is 80 is equal to 3d or 2d will be equal to 80 which implies that d to 80 to 40 so d will be 40 centimeters okay so if the point lies outside the system then at a distance q1 at a distance of 40 centimeters from q1 there will be zero potential okay or when it lies within this then it will be uh, 10 centimeters from q1 okay question number two Question number two. A regular hexagon of side 10 centimeters. A regular hexagon of side 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter has a charge has a charge 5 microcoulomb at each each of it each of its vertices. Vertices calculate the potential at the center of the hexagon. Calculate the potential at the center of the hexagon. Solution. Suppose this we have a regular hexagon. A regular hexagon is a figure which has six sides which are equal. Let us say this is A, 
B, C, D, E and F. Six sides. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now, every side is ten centimeter. Okay. Har ek side dos centimeter. A side bhi dos centimeter. Ye bhi, ye bhi, ye bhi. Now. Now, this is the center of this. Now, when we join, this with the center O. Now, this is an equilateral triangle because total uh, angles uh, of a um, hexagon are 60, uh, 360. Total angle, jo central angle hai, that is 360. Central angle theta, that is 360 degree. Now each angle, to yaha par banega, that will be, let us say theta dash. This will be 36 divided by 6. That will be 60 degree. So this angle will be 60 degree. Now <coughs> this angle is 60 degree. This angle is also 60 degree. This angle is also 60 degree. So it will be an equilateral triangle. Okay. Now it will be an equilateral triangle. So this side this side and this side all will be equal because all the sides of an equilateral triangle are equal okay now now this is also 10 centimeter okay now potential now how many charges are there one two three four five and six har ek jagah panch micro ampere hai panch micro coulomb hai yahan par bhi panch micro coulomb hai yahan par bhi panch micro coulomb hai yahan par bhi panch micro coulomb hai so, this is the potential kya hogi? due to one charge. It will be, let us say, potential due to a single charge will be, let us say, V dash. It will be equal to uh, K, Q, charge kitna hai? 5 micro coulomb, 10 raised power minus 6 coulomb, divided by R. What is R? Is 10 centimeters, 10 to 10 raised power minus uh, 2 meter. Okay. So, B dash will be equal to K is 9 into 10 raised power 9 into 5 into 10 raised power minus 6 divided by let me say 10 raised power minus 1. Okay. So V dash will be equal to V dash will be equal to <coughs> plus 1 that will be 10 8 minus 1 upper chalage that is 10 raised power 10 minus 6 10 raised power 4 5 minus 45 into 10 raised power 9 में से 6 गए 3 1 plus हो गया 4 यह potential है okay. this will be the potential due to single charge now there are 6 such charges so total potential at center will be 6 V dash क्योंकि हर एक side 10 10 cm तो हर एक की potential same होगी center तो total add होगा because the scalar quantity it will get added so it will be 45 into uh, 45, and this will be 6 into 45 into 10 raised power 4. This comes out to be 2.7 into 10 raised power 6 volts. Okay. Next question. Question. Spherical conductor of radius 12 cm has charge. Uh, spherical conductor of radius 12 cm has a charge has a charge of 1.6 into 10 raised power minus 7 coulomb. Distributed uniformly. Theta distributed uniformly on surface on its surface. What is the electric field? Field A inside the sphere B on the sphere and C outside the sphere at a point at a point 18 centimeter from its center. Solution. Yeah, asan hai. Suppose this uh, conducting conductor hai. So conductor well, let us this, this be the center O. Its radius is 12 centimeter and 
it has a charged group which is uniformly distributed, positive charge which is uniformly distributed over its surface, okay, which is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised power minus 7 coulomb. Now, what we have to do, we have to find the electric field inside on the surface and outside the surface at a distance of this distance is 18 centimeters. Okay, case one. Now we know that electric field inside inside this uh, uh, inside the uh, conductor conducting material is always zero. Okay, this we have the Gauss law say inside the conductor electric field is always zero. Case second. On the surface, we know that electric field has a maximum value on the surface, E max, that is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0, Q by R square. Now, Q humare pass diya gaya hai, 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 raised power 9. Q humare pass kitna diya hai, 1.6 into 10 raised power minus 7 divided by R square. R is 12 centimeter that is 12 into 10 days power minus 2 meter whole square. Isko jab hum calculate karenge, it comes out to be 10 days power 5 newton. 10 days power 5 newton per coulomb. Isko uh, arrange karenge, take Now, outside it, outside it will be electric field outside, E outside will be equal to Again, 1 by 4 by epsilon 0, Q by R dash square, where R dash square, where R dash square is the distance from the center. This is R dash, okay, to this point. We have to find that is the point O, o dash outside this, okay. So, it will be R dash square, so E dot will be equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 raised power 9. Charge is, charge on the sphere is 1.6 into 10 raised power minus 7 colon divided by r r is 18 centimeter door 18 into 10 raised power minus 2 whole square so after calculating it it comes out to be 4.4 into 10 raised power 4 newton per colon so we see that inside it is 0 on it is on the sphere it is 5 into 10 raised power, uh, 10 raised power 5 Newton and outside it is 4.4 10 raised power 4 Newton. So it decreases when you go outside 